Have you ever thought about what the perfect day in sport looks like for an Olympic athlete? And how that might differ from one athlete to the other? Of course we'd expect some similarities, like, you know, some Olympic medals in there. But something tells me there's more to it than just hardware. Today, I'm here with Sergio Pessoa. Hey, Sergio. Hi, Jen. Sergio is getting ready for his first Olympic Games, taking place in London in just a few weeks in judo. So, Sergio, do you think you can help us out? Can you draw for us what your perfect day in sport looks like? Yeah, I'll try to explain a little bit what judo is all about. Cool. <laughs> Let's go. My sport doesn't take very much. It only takes a judo mat. So, this is the judo mat. It's a red square and it's all filled with red mats <laughs> inside. <laughs> and the outside is uh, yellow. That sets the boundaries of the judo mat and you're not allowed to step outside. So this is me, this is, I'm in blue. <laughs> and this is my opponent. He only takes two guys. So my perfect day would be like coming to this mat and facing my opponent. He's gonna come in, I'm gonna come in, and we're gonna fight. So how would your perfect match go what, what would it look like the most important thing in judo is like to get your grips properly and uh, after if your grips are ready and you're feeling good then you, you go for the throw and uh, the guy's on his back and the match is over <laughs> so that can take as little as a few seconds it can take to... 10 seconds it can take five minutes like I'm ready to fight five minutes against anyone in the world today okay but if he goes 10 seconds and I'm, the guy's on his back, I'm happy with it. For most Olympians, our families are really involved in getting us to our objective to be an Olympic athlete. But for you, it's even more special than that because your dad is an Olympian himself having competed in the 88 games in judo. And he's also your coach. He's the one who's like teaching me all the judo that he learned like throughout his whole career. And he's telling me like, you're going to be great and I know I have the potential to, mm -hmm. to be great. He's really the reason why I'm at this level today and the reason why I'm participating at the Olympics uh, this year. You came to Canada when you're 15 from Brazil and you're going to be representing Canada, your country, in the upcoming Olympics. I know this country has given so much to me throughout these years, the financial uh, you know, support and also the encouragement to, mm -hmm. uh, to participate at the Olympics and I'm really happy to be representing Canada today. Well, I think we're really lucky to have you and we're all going to be behind you 100% when you compete yes. in London. Thank you very much. Thanks, Sergio. <laughs>